Hi everybody. Um, so this is a reading for Aries. Um, so I'm gonna start uh, like I've I've been doing uh, with my oracle cards, and then throw in my tarot cards, and um, it sort of helps me paint uh, a clearer picture when I use a couple of the the different decks here. Uh, so I'm gonna tuck those guys there, and we're gonna start uh, with these guys here, and just gonna shuffle them till they start flying out. All right, universe. So we're doing a read for Aries. So you give me some some advice. Oh, stuff is already flipping out. What messages does Aries need to know? Conflict and defeat. Oh, so we might be we might be going through some rough stuff here. This might not be the happiest read, or that might just be something that you're going through, and it's going to tell us how you're going to come out the other side, and a little bit more about that. I feel like they're all starting to jump out of my hands too, so this is a good time to start the read here. We'll pull some more cards and see what we got. Temptation, mental conflict, rest and rejuvenate, and accelerated motion. Okay. So I almost wonder if this doesn't have to do um, with a relationship that has sort of a negative and cyclical dynamic with the temptation because sometimes that speaks to um, going going back and starting sort of the cycle over again you know where you finally you have the big blowout you say I've had enough and you're ready to step away and then there's a you make up and start the whole thing sort of over over and over again and maybe maybe you're feeling conflicted about about stepping out of this situation um, I'm gonna pull a few more cards here uh, the heart chakra so that does definitely does have to do with um, relationships and 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 healing um, I got heartache and loss um, but I also have a, a love begins and the passion ignited um, So I'm feeling like um, we've been in a relationship that's been, it's been quite negative. Uh, we've stepped away from it now. Um, you're feeling conflicted. You're almost tempted to go back and give it another go. Um, maybe you're feeling lonely too and, and, and you miss you miss the good times that were there. Um, what I'm seeing in the cards is that you need to take a break um, and sort of recombobulate, I guess. Um, sort of get yourself back together. Um, get refocused. Um, do some healing. I almost wonder if there there isn't... Um, If you aren't going to find somebody else very quickly, it's kind of what I'm getting from this. With the accelerated motion, the love begins, I got passion ignited. Uh, so I'm wondering if, and, and usually I, I recommend taking a space of time from one relationship to another just to deal with any emotional baggage. And, and, and I think you should, should definitely do that, but I'm getting from the cards that you're going to meet somebody else right away. That there's going to be a new relationship starting up, and it's going to be very passionate, and it's going to be very deep feelings, and and very quickly as well. Um, I also got the triumphant success card. I just want to sort of pull pull a few more here. Um, So I got the throat chakra as well, which which has to do with uh, communication, uh, being able to, I think, communicate your feelings, um, which is something you have to learn when you're going through through um, negative relationships. You need to be able to to not just stand up for yourself and speak your mind, but actually be able to turn what you're feeling into words so that the other people can other person can understand where you're coming from. It's definitely caused a disruption in your life. Um, 
but I'm seeing a partnerships and alliance card as well as a foundation card um, and destiny as well. So I wonder if this this new relationship because I believe the cards are telling me that you're there's going to be a new a new relationship, a new opportunity, and it's going to happen very quickly and it's going to be very deep. Um, I wonder if the destiny doesn't speak to that and maybe it's someone someone who you have a chance of having something really real and deep with um, but you have to remember to to express your feelings so that they know where you stand um, you're not repeating the same cycles um, from this past negative relationship uh, we could just get some clarification on this reading universe if you just give us a little bit of a clear view of what's going on here oh there we go so we'll start with all of these guys so eight of cups you're definitely moving on um i got um, the star card so uh, it speaks to speaks to hope the nine of pentacles speaks to uh, speak speaks of abundance and I believe that this is emotional abundance in this case I don't think that this has to do with um, with money at all I believe that this has to do with a relationship um, I got the the king of cups so that might represent um, that that person that you're going to meet that you're going to have that deep emotional connection with as well i'm going to pull a few more cards here and we're just going to keep building the ace of cups so again a new new beginning on a romantic relationship i believe um i got the two of wands here too and it can speak of um partnerships but also of of choices and choosing a path so this two of wands i believe I believe that this goes hand in hand with the temptation card so it it's sort of do you have that choice of are you going to go back to the negative relationship are you going to sort of relive that cycle over again are you going to choose something new and i think like i have the eight of cups here and i i think you need to start on the new journey i think it's time to walk away with the old uh, move into something new I think that's definitely your best option because I think um, the person you were with before, I got the devil card, um, they're very selfish. Um, I don't, I feel like they might have taken you for granted. Um, they didn't care a whole lot about your feelings. They sort of didn't mind winning, even if it meant that you lost because they just wanted to win. Uh, there might have been some, some dishonesty there as well. So the two of swords again decisions um sort of uh your decision being tied up with with emotion um maybe thinking about going back to the past i got the the knight of swords so i wonder if this person who from this past relationship isn't trying to to come back and start anew and that's why you're 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 torn about going back it's not just you thinking of it on your own i wonder if they sort of come weaseling back and uh and they're sort of trying to lure you back in with the words again i'm sorry it won't happen again i love you and blah 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 i've changed whatever whatever yarn they usually spin um at you that's that sort of started the cycle over and over again um definitely stand up for yourself um speak your mind uh, tell this person how they made you feel um i got the ten of cups and i think that speaks of 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 the new relationship and the new opportunity and having emotional abundance in your life and i'm also getting the six of cups and so it's sort of the blast from the past card, uh, but it's usually positive. So I'm almost wondering if that uh, isn't 
um, the new partner that you're going to find. It's maybe somebody that, that you've known for a while, maybe someone that you knew and lost contact with for whatever reason, and, and maybe you're going to sort of reconnect with as well. Um, I have the temperance card here as well. Uh, so just, I would say that whenever you're making a decision, because I think, I think this person's trying to lure you back in to the same old garbage. And I know there's, there's always that emotional side of you. There might still be that piece of you that still cares that that doesn't make you stupid. That doesn't make you a bad person. That's totally and completely normal. Don't feel guilty about that. Try and try and step back and look at the decision logically um, instead of very emotionally because the emotion the emotion side of you um, might not choose what's best for you uh, it, and it might draw you back in it it's best to, to <laughs> see what I was gonna say it's best to leave things like that in the past I got the death card so Tarot's backing me up here it's best to step away from that negative situation and and really cut your ties so that you can move forward with this new opportunity that I believe is headed your way. And I think it's going to be a really positive and very deep relationship that you're going to have with this next person. I got the Ace of Swords, Triumph. Um, I got the em Emperor and the Empress as well. So to me that speaks of sort of that union, the two that are made for each other. I also got the Queen of Cups as well as the King of Cups. So again sort of the king and queen um with cups representing emotion so i feel like this new person you know they're going to be your emperor or your empress right the two of you are going to really connect and and with the cups representing emotion the king and queen you'll really connect on a deep emotional level um i think whoever this this um knight of swords is who keeps um trying to weasel you back in this this the devil card uh, that person needs to take a hike and they need to move on um, so that you can move on with your life and you can get this better this better relationship this deeper connection uh, and really be treated the way that you deserve um, so I'll, I'll do a couple more cards just um, for a conclusion here so got the seven of cup which again speaks to choices um along with the four of swords which speaks to sort of uh the rest rejuvenate sort of recombobulating as well um so with the seven of cups it does speak to many options but it also speaks of um weighing your options carefully so again this person's trying to trying to lure you back in and we got the temperance card there and and we're we have all these emotional feelings where maybe we feel like what well, might be better this time it might you know maybe i should just just think logically pull the emotion out of it and and maybe maybe talk to yourself as if you were your best friend and your best friend was going through the situation and came to you for advice because sometimes when we're on the outside looking in we can give uh better advice than when we're really stuck in the emotion and feeling all the feels um That's sort of my advice to you to um, leave leave the devil in the past and move on to your emperor or your empress and have a very deep and fulfilling new relationship because you deserve it and everybody deserves to be happy. All right, I hope this helped you. I hope it sort of helped to give you some, some direction and some clarity on the situation that's going on in your life and take care.